going on guys and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing the throttle reset slash transmission reset. There is a big misconception as to what this reset does. A lot of people are misinformed and are led to believe that this is an ECU reset. This reset is tailored to the transmission and in order for us to get a clearer picture of what this does i want to briefly explain how our cars work basically older cars have a drive-by cable system whereby they have a cable that is connected to the throttle body and that cable runs to your accelerator pedal and when you depress your accelerator pedal it pulls on that cable and opens up the throttle body flap in order to allow air through thereby creating combustion and accelerating the car now our cars now the newer style cars work off a drive-by wire system whereby when you depress the accelerator pedal it sends a signal through a wire to the ECU which then sends a signal to your throttle body telling it how much to open according to how much you depress the pedal. That is what you call a drive-by wire system. You can see how it's very different to the drive-by cable system. Now that we understand how our cars work according to the drive-by wire system, we can now try to understand why people are misled to believe that this is an ECU reset. Our cars have a adaptive transmission, meaning that it adapts to the way you drive and it finds the, the best shift pattern according to your driving style. So yes, it does adapt to your driving style and it does relearn the way that you drive. In doing this reset, it does not reset your ECU, but in actual fact, it resets your throttle response according to your transmission. To understand how the adaptive transmission works, whether you're towing something or driving down a steep hill or up a steep hill, or whether you drive hard and fast or slow and smooth, the transmission will find the best shift pattern in order to accompany your driving style. And that is basically how the adaptive transmission works. Hence why people also call it a throttle reset. To put it simply, it does not reset your ECU at all. You cannot reset your ECU unless you have an advanced tool like a star diagnostic tool or a more advanced tool or software that can go into and read the ECU and remap it and readjust settings on the ECU. That's the only way you're going to be able to reset it or readjust your ECU. A procedure like this will not do that. All it does is reset a certain module or a certain uh, function on the car, but it cannot reset your ECU. Now, with that said, let's jump in the car and let me show you guys exactly how you do this transmission slash throttle reset. Now we're in the car. I'm gonna show you guys exactly step by step how to do this transmission slash throttle reset. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure your sunroof's closed, make sure your boot's closed, make sure all your doors are closed and make sure your radio isn't on, your heater isn't on, nothing is on. The first thing you wanna do is grab your key, put it in your ignition and turn it to the second position. Okay, keys in, one, two. Now, you depress the accelerator pedal all the way and you hold it for five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Now, without taking your foot off the accelerator, you now turn off your car without removing the key and then you release your foot off the accelerator pedal. Okay, so I hope you got that. You do not remove the key from the ignition and you do not take your foot off until you turn off the car. Now, all we have to do is wait two to five minutes for this procedure to initiate. All we do then is start the car and go for a drive. It does not reset your ECU in any way. However, there are some pros to doing this uh, reset. If you're not happy with the way your car responds, according to your driving style or you've bought the car of somebody else and it just happens to appear that their driving style is a lot harder than yours and you notice that the shift patterns are 
extremely long, meaning that they hold gears for longer, then doing this reset is going to give your car a chance to learn the way you drive and thereby saving fuel, shifting smoother and also the other way around and you don't like the way the car responds because it feels laggy or slow then doing this procedure will give you a chance to drive your car hard and make it feel like a sports car again because you drive a lot harder another thing is that a lot of people tend to do this reset like once a week once a month or whatever the case may be but honestly i don't think you need to reset it that often i believe that you only need to do this reset when you feel like the car isn't responding as well anymore and you want it to be more responsive according to how you drive but if your car feels like it's responding very well then you know you don't have to do this uh, resetting procedure keep driving it the way it is and make sure you're happy with it i think that's about two minutes now all you have to do now is start the car and take it for a drive right now i'm going to start the car and then we're going to take it for a quick drive The car started, take it for a quick drive. Another thing is, once you have done this reset procedure, make sure that you do drive the car the way you normally drive. That way it can adapt and learn the way you drive, because that's what's important. Remember, this procedure works on all Mercedes-Benz models with a drive-by wire system. If you have a drive-by cable system, the, the older style, then the procedure is different. So, you know, this won't work for your particular model. I hope I helped to clarify some of the misconceptions as to what this does, whether or not it resets your ECU or your throttle. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, guys.